And the Kenya Agricultural Livestock Research Organization, that is CALRO, has initiated measures aimed at controlling foot and mouth disease in order to protect the livestock industry and enhance food and nutrition security. Director of Veterinary Services, Dr. Obadian Jagi, says a combination of uncontrolled livestock movements and low vaccination has resulted in the observed high and foot and mouth, sorry, high foot and mouth disease outbreaks in the country. The plan will be implemented in two phases with pastoral zones being given priority. The livestock subsector in Kenya contributes about 12% of the country's GDP and accounts for about 40% of the agricultural gross domestic product. In 2021, cattle production generated 103.5 billion shillings with the overall value of livestock production including livestock products measured at 161.6 billion shillings. The sector has, however, been faced with a myriad of challenges, key among them the foot and mouth disease. In Kenya, the disease is endemic and it is commonly caused by four of the seven foot and mouth disease virus serotypes, SAT1, SAT2, serotype A, and serotype O, which do not cross-protect and often mutate to unique variants, making the standard vaccine ineffective. Under the Foot and Mouth Disease Risk-Based Strategic Plan, county governments have been urged to purchase and administer oil-based vaccines that offer longer immunity and ease the logistics of vaccinations. This is a strategy that has already been applied in other countries. It's a strategy that has been approved by the World Organization for Animal Health. And all we have done is to domesticate that uh, strategy and uh, disseminate it to the ground for use in dealing with the matter of uh, foot and mouth disease. Additionally, Industry players noted there was a need to design and implement a foot and mouth preventive vaccination program targeting susceptible animals. This, they said, will reduce the chances of the disease spreading among an infected livestock. When we are, we are dealing with the disease controlling or eradicating, we want to be able to vaccinate at least 80%. So split that among the counties. The budget we have seen, I think, is about a total. Uh, everything considered should come to about 37 billion for five years. And that's why we think perhaps if government cannot do it alone, we have partners, we have the private sector. We want to see where it is that they can support us to meet that budget to be able to deal with FMD. Phase one of the program to be carried out in pastoral zones where beef cattle are predominant will see an aggressive implementation of vaccination activities based on risk categorization and level of disease impact. Phase two will be undertaken in sedentary and agro-pastoral zones where dairy cattle are predominant and will be expected to carry out compulsory scheduled vaccines every year for five years. Communities living in pastoral areas are being rallied to carry out vaccination tests on their livestock against foot and mouth disease that has been considered a pain in the neck. Reporting for Prime Edition, my name is Ndota Mokami.